طبعا as you know misguidance and bid'ah always uh, get revived by some shayateen yeah so sometimes they die out and then they come back again they die out and they come back alhamdulillah the scholars have refuted and exposed bid'ahs and the people uh, who call to bid'ah and lately i've noticed this this trend that some people claim that islam is just about following the quran not the sunnah so quran is sufficient you only follow the quran and no need for the sunnah if they're honest and sincere about their claim then they are forced to follow the sunnah because the quran leads you to the sunnah allah azza wa mentioned that in the quran وَمَنْ يُشَاقِقِ الرَّسُولِ مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا تَبَيَّنَ لَهُ الْهُدَى وَيَتَّبِعْ غَيْرَ سَبِيلِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلِّهِ مَا تَوَلَّى وَنُصْلِهِ جَهَنَّمَ وَسَاءَتْ مَصِيرًا And whoever contradicts and opposes the Messenger وسلم, after the right path has been shown clearly to him and follows other than the believer's way, then we shall keep him in the path he has chosen and burn him in hell. What an evil destination. And this is the tafsir of Imam al-Sa'di rahimahullah. He said that anybody who, gains, who goes against the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and is stubborn in rejecting the truth, then he says here, here, بِالدَّلَائِلِ الْقُرْآنِيَّ وَالْبَرَاهِينِ النَّبَوِيَّ With the Quranic proofs and the evidence from the, from the, uh, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, barahin al meaning the hadith, the Quran and the hadith. And in many ayat in the Quran, Allah says, Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. أَطِيعُ اللَّهَ وَأَطِيعُ الرَّسُولِ قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِ يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ If you truly love Allah and you want to follow Allah, then follow me. يعني Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم, follow him. طيب, the question is, I want to follow the Prophet. How do I follow the Prophet? Why Allah did he make a distinction between obey Allah and obey the Messenger? Why couldn't he just say, Obey Allah, follow the Quran. It's as clear as that. But Allah did not say that. He said, obey Allah and obey the messenger. Another question. The people who got us the Quran that we trust and we follow are the same people who got us the Sunnah and the Hadith. They're the same people. If you accuse them of falsehood and, and unreliability, then, then you have to also claim that about the Quran because it's from the same source. It's from the Sahaba and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How do we know him, our Prophet? And we don't have anything about the Prophet? Is that what you're saying? We just have the Quran? That's it? Nothing was narrated, documented about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the time that he was, he was appointed as a messenger. Nobody documented, mentioned anything about him. And so all information is lost. Does that sound logical to you? The greatest man in history, we have nothing about him? How is that possible? Is this, is this a religion that you want to follow? طيب يا أخي, some of the ahkam that we have today about salah, about dua, about shirk, about tawheed, all of this is completed or elaborated and explained in the sunnah. When I pray salah, how do I do sujood al sahu? What do I say? What is the sunnah? How did the Prophet pray? I want to know. How, what did the Prophet do in certain situations with his family, with his friends, when he paid zakah, when he, when he did siyam, when he did qiyam al-layl, when he did dua? All of these things are not mentioned in the Qur'an. So how do I know? How do I apply my religion? How do I make my religion practical and easy and clear to me? When the Prophet wasallam said, عَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي سُنَّتِي My way وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَاءِ الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِينَ مِنْ بَعْدِي and follow my way and the way of the Sahab, of the Khulafa, the rightly guided Khulafa. So what are you saying that Quran, uh, Islam is only about Quran? This is not Islam. This is your own, own created religion. And Islam is free from this claim. Fear Allah and anybody who says that, disassociate from him and, and leave them alone. And my advice to you is that don't even argue with them. These people are just mentally disturbed. Wallahi mentally disturbed. Finally, I say, yani from the time of the Prophet وسلم, until today, the people who took care of the Sunnah and collected the Sunnah and narrated the Sunnah, all of these people, they're wrong in the history of Islam from the Sahaba who mentioned this. And it was narrated and documented. And they said, we heard that from the Prophet and etc. Many of the hadith, all of them are wrong. All of them don't know what religion is. You got religion right. 
Does that sound right to you? Or does that sound very satanic? Be careful. Be careful.